Lord Byron was a mythical figure during his lifetime as well. He was uh, he was a pinup. Um, before the era of pinups, he was considered wildly seductive and handsome and just the best thing ever. Um, uh, among people who had never seen a picture of him, perhaps maybe a print of what he looked like. Um, and he was this sort of swarthy, uh, dark, dark haired lover who was uh, the fantasy of perhaps men and women alike. Um, and the, the proto Dracula story um, was called The Vampire by John Polidori who was part of um, a party that got together um, uh, for a holiday uh, near Lake Geneva in Switzerland. And it involved um, Percy Bysshe Shelley um, and uh, Mary Shelley, his wife, and John Polidori um, and Byron. And they got together to um, write ghost stories on a rainy period during their holiday when they couldn't go swimming and, and hang out and, and frolic in the mountains. And um, that was the origin of a number of important stories, the most important of which was Frankenstein, which was written by Mary Shelley, or at least the first draft of it was written then. They were inspired by a book called Phantasmagoria, which was um, a collection of Germanic ghost stories that they found in the castle. And John Polidori wrote The Vampire, um, which was a complicated sort of um, I want to say it wasn't quite a forgery, but there were issues with who wrote it. And um, it was quite clear that after the fact, um, there was an attempt on the part of publishers to make people think that Byron had written it. Mm -hmm. And the figure of the vampire in it was um, based on uh, Polidori's not entirely flattering impression of Lord Byron himself. Um, and Byron also wrote a story about a vampire um, in a Turkish cemetery, but it didn't take off the way John Polidori's The Vampire did. And that really led to a series of other books, but also stage plays about vampires, all of them with the same context that they're effectively aristocrats um, with pale skin and dark hair who basically look like Byron. Um, and they're uh, Eastern European, but they're frolicking in the salons of um, Western European cities like London. Um, and they're, they're sexual predators, but the sexualization takes the form of blood sucking rather than actual sexual endeavors. And it, so it's, it's, a, it's making fun of and based on and also paying homage to Byron all rolled into one.